In this video, we are going to discuss about server-side request forgery, also known as SSRF. We already know about cross-site request forgery, in which a hacker will send a link for you and if there is a session already present in your system, then the action will automatically get performed. All these actions are performed in the client side. But now the topic is server-side request forgery, which is performed in the server side. We are going to get the access to the server to read or update the internal source. So what is SSRF? Let's suppose we have a web application running in the server side. And there will be some URLs processing in the server side when we send some requests. So now we are going to update those URLs to manipulate the website. That means the attacker is trying to induce to the server side application to make the requests to an unintended location. Generally, this works only in the internal networks because we need to have the access to the network first so that we can have a communication with the server. So will there be any impact when there is a SSRF attack? Yes, obviously there is an impact. If the hacker is successful with the SSRF attack on your web application or the website, this will result in the access to the unauthorized pages or the data in the server of the organization. So that's actually a harm. So without any delay, let's work hands-on using this website called WebCode application. We all know that this application is developed to try all the vulnerabilities. And if you are going to try the same process with all the applications, this will not work and you will be in trouble. Hacking and being part of hacking is a crime. This video is done only for the educational purposes and do not try this on any other applications. So for the SSRF chapter, we have four topics in web code. So we are going to see all the topics and see the explanation of each thing. So the first one, it says that the attacker can supply or modify a URL in which the code is running on the server that will read or submit the data to. And that's what we have discussed till now. And let's move on to an exercise so that you will get a better understanding on this. So it says that uh, to find and modify the request to display Jerry. So first I'll click on this button and figure out what is happening. And it says you failed to steal the cheese. So as the topic says, we need to access the server, right? So first I'll inspect this button. So this is a submit type button in the form called attack form as you can see here the action for this form is web code slash ssrf slash task one so the task one here is displaying the picture of tom but we need to change this to jerry and that's our task to do that first i'll navigate to the network tab and here we will be having all the requests that are being sent to the server side first i'll clear all the requests and again click on steal the cheese as you can see here there is a post method with status of 200 and the file name is task1. Let's see what's happening in the request. If you see the params of this request, it has one parameter called URL, which is images slash tom.png. So if you see the response for this request, it says you failed to steal the cheese. And that's what the output which we have seen before. So the task is to change this Tom to Jerry. So I need to edit this request and resend this one. So I'll click on this request and select this edit and respond. So in the request body, I'll change the image name from Tom to Jerry. So I'll click on send. And again, if you see the request which is sent to the server, the params will be changed to jerry.png and if you see the response for this and it says you rock the SSRF and that completes your first task. So let's move on to the second task, which is the third lesson of this chapter. So this is to change that request. So the server gets information from HTTP colon slash slash IF config dot pro. That means there is a request being sent on clicking this button from a website, let's say abc.com. And now we need to change that to a particular link called this one, which is ifconfig.pro. But before that, let's see what is the response for this button. So if I click on this button, 
it says you need to stick to the game plan so it says to follow the game plan which is the same process as we have done before so i'll inspect this button first and move on to the network so here i'll clear all the requests being sent to the server and again click on this button so there is a post method with status of 200 and the request name is task1 so let's see the parameters of this response for this request so the parameters for this request is images slash cat.png okay let's see the response for this so this is same as before it says you need to stick to the game plan okay done so now let's change the parameters and update this url from cat.png to the given url which is http colon slash slash ifconfig.pro and i'll click on send let's open the new request which we have sent now and see the parameters and the parameters got changed if you see the response of this request after the edit it says you rock the ssrf and that came to the end of this lab so to prevent the ssrf vulnerabilities we have some guidelines to be followed the first one is when you are hosting a website or a web application you need to mention a list of domains which are allowed to send the request to the server if you did not mention any such lists then there will be access to other domains as well with your server and every input from the user should be validated and the validation is not only for the input but also with the user that means we need to check whether the authorized person or the authorized user is sending the request or not so this is the main thing you need to check and the next one is do not accept the user inputs in functions because the functions can be modified and that needs to be protected so that came to an end of this server side request 4g you can also install this web code and try all the exercises hands on you can download this from github i'll give the link in the description so i hope you have learned something from this video hope you like this please do like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video